Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday. It is September 11th, and we are celebrating the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Um, and as we pray this morning, uh, we would do well to um, remember what this day is, uh, September 11th, uh, 21 years ago, the attacks on the towers in New York. And so wanting to pray for uh, our country, wanting to pray for uh, the men and women who lost their lives, wanting to pray for all of the first responders um, who so bravely um, ran, ran towards when so many were running away. So friends, uh, with that in mind, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Alleluia. Sing with all the sons of glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow, earth, dark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness, man awaking, knows the everlasting peace. Oh, what glory far exceeding, all that I has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. Praise the Lord for his loving kindness will never fail. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side, I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompassed me. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. They compassed me, compassed me about. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. They compassed me about like bees. They blazed like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name, I crushed them. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my Savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not, do but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you for you have answered, and you are my Savior. 
The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you have given us the great day of rejoicing. Jesus Christ, the stone rejected by the builders, has become the cornerstone of the church, our spiritual home. Shed upon your church the rays of your glory, that it may be seen as the gate of salvation open to all nations. Let cries of joy and exaltation ring out from its tents to celebrate the wonder of Christ's resurrection. Praise the Lord, for his loving kindness will never fail. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all for praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths. From your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything, alleluia, bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Let everything that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. O oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth, <clears throat> and of all created things, you make your just ones holy, and you justify sinners who confess your name. Hear us as we humbly pray to you. Give us eternal joy with your saints. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of David, was raised from the dead. You can depend on this. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we hold out to the end, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he will still remain faithful, for he cannot deny himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. We give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. We cry aloud how marvelous you are as we call upon your name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. He who loses his life because of me and for the sake of the gospel shall save it 
says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He who loses his life because of me, and for the sake of the gospel, shall save it, says the Lord. Open your hearts to praise the God of power and goodness, for he loves us and knows our needs. We praise you, Lord, and trust in you. We bless you, Almighty God, King of the universe, because you called us while we were yet sinners to acknowledge your truth and to serve your majesty. We praise you, Lord, and trust in you. O God, you opened the gates of mercy for us, let us never turn aside from the path of life. We praise you, Lord, and trust in you. As we celebrate the resurrection of your beloved Son, help us to spend this day in the spirit of joy. We praise you, Lord, and trust in you. Give to your faithful, O Lord, a prayerful spirit of gratitude that we may thank you for all your gifts. We praise you, Lord, and trust in you. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers and the intentions of our own hearts, we lift up our voices, praying those sacred words of Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, our Creator and Guide, may we serve you with all our heart and know your forgiveness in our lives. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us joining together this morning and each morning, praying this, the prayer of the Church, praying with the Church, through the Church, on behalf of the Church, but praying for the church and for all of her members. And equally, how great is it that you and I joining together, this little group of prayer warriors, being able to pray in the morning, but promising to pray with and for each one of, uh, each one of us throughout this day, so that whatever you face, you do not face alone. Whatever you enjoy today, you do not enjoy alone, because we are here praying um, and supporting one another. So friends, uh, it is Sunday, um, so go to Mass. Um, but as you worship the Lord today, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, to be healthy today, to be happy today, to live in his joy. But above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day.
today.